And the baby is in a completely different position, position to a regular pregnancy. How, which do, is... how does it work? Well, it's incredible how it works. For, you know, the vast majority of women know they're pregnant from really early on, loads of symptoms. And for most women, that this is completely bewildering how this can happen. But for some women, uh, often those who are incredibly busy rushing around with their lives and those who are blessed and don't get many symptoms of pregnancy, um, they just take these changes that are happening to their body as just normal phases their body's going through. So much larger ladies, obviously, Clara's not, uh, not, not a large lady, but for some women who carry a lot of weight, they don't notice the weight change that's happening. Um, some women don't have any change of their periods. They bleed all the way through, or they're on the pill, and so they don't have periods because of that. And so it, it, it can and does happen, and more often than most of us would think. And for the disbelievers out there, you know, I can assure well, you... Well, there, really there are disbelievers. There's a certain online newspaper that's yeah, no, I've tried been... not to read all about it. Yeah, no, don't oh, read. Don't. Maybe don't. if you show don't. them a basket of beautiful puppies, they'd still be negative, <laughs> so I wouldn't worry about that. But, uh, but, but, but for you, um, it's, um, as we were saying then, it's a, it's a hell of a shock. Um, I'm assuming it was also something of a shock to Chris. It was, I have to admit. He, I mean, I'd like to meet the man who wouldn't be shocked, <laughs> but um, he has taken it very well for a young 24-year-old man. Mm. He's taken it very well. And so he is uh, as involved as he can. As he, as he can be, yeah. You, yeah. And there's, um, I mean, there was a photo of you at seven months pregnant, and you look at this photo, and I mean, you're in a bodycon tight dress, no, no sign. I look a little bit podgy, but it's like um... you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you seriously don't. I mean, viewers would have watched me grow three times on this, sofa, <laughs> and I was pretty much the size of the sofa. And you, I mean, you just were no. Yeah. Just when it, and so how is she? She's absolutely Shall perfect. We bring her in? Is she great? Yeah. yeah let's uh, let's bring. She's no, so she's woken she, up. She's so good. She has she's woken away. up. Um, when uh, j so just after you'd you'd given birth uh, to, to to lovely Amelia, um, she's got your mum went on holiday. Yes. And so then after. so without as Holly said any prep. Um, you are then alone with your baby. Well, luckily I had one of my very good friends, who is slightly older than me, um, help me and look, looks after me very well and fed uh, me. <laughs> and but you, but you said that moment really helped you to bond. Yeah, it was. I could bring, I could take her up on my own, and just um, any problems I had, I had to face by myself. Because this is, I assume, part of the problem is that you don't get that time. Absolutely. Oh, here she comes. Thanks. To you. Absolutely. Oh, that hello, darling. Amelia. She is What's beautiful. her name? Amelia. Amelia. Hi! Oh my gosh. Like a little hot <laughs> yes. so she wants, she's going in for a no. no. Pregnancy is a Hi, great beautiful. time for women to get their head around the whole no. concept of what's happening to them, the changes to their body and the whole change to their life that's coming. So to not have that is a tremendous shock mm. for, for, you know, mum and the whole family around. Are there no. medical implications? Yeah, there can be. So, obviously, uh, Clara didn't have any antenatal care at all. No scans, no blood tests, no nothing. She didn't modify her lifestyle in any way. Now, as it happens, she lives a healthy life and the outcome is fabulous. And, na you know, nature does take care of things a lot of the time. Time. But in many cases, it wouldn't have been such a good outcome. And so, for women who mm. smoke and drink a lot, but who then choose to stop those things in pregnancy, you don't get the chance to do mm. that when in this situation. No mm. folic acid. So, you know, clearly, as a medical person, the advice would always be: if you think you're pregnant, do a test and go and get help sooner rather than later. That's amazing. She's oh, she's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> she's smiling. Very distracting. <laughs> Hello. You are so cute. Look at those eyes. You are just beautiful. gorgeous. Oh, do you reckon I could? Could I? Could no. I have <laughs> <laughs> Just one more. <laughs> just one more. Oh, my God. Take away before I just get any ideas. She is so, so gorgeous. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And so lovely that it's worked out this way and you said you didn't even know you wanted a baby yeah. and then she's come in and enriched your life in so many absolutely, ways. Absolutely, definitely. absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Kyrie says, last Monday I gave birth to a healthy baby boy weighing £7.6 ounces. I was unaware I was pregnant until my waters broke in the doctor's surgery. Wow. 45 minutes later my uh, baby boy Jack was born in a side room in A&E. Kim said, I went through this as well. I gave birth to a healthy baby girl on Mother's Day this year. I had no wow. idea I was pregnant. Wow. What a day to do it. It was scary but a Mother's Day gift I'll never forget. <laughs> Liberty says I, I had no symptoms of being pregnant, was on the pill all year. My doctor told me I had a virus, I didn't have a bump or anything. And in December, I delivered my baby girl on my own at home. Wow. And Paige says I gave birth to my little girl down the loo at home. I had Ooh. no clue. There's a surprise, and, yeah. and that happens a lot. Down the loo is quite popular because obviously you feel things pushing yeah. you down. Where do you do? You run to the loo, it's a very natural place to oh go. Oh my god, what so, a shock! Well, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. For I mean, the baby as well. For the baby as well. It's not an ideal landing point. No. I luckily just missed the toilet, but right. I had to. Oh, She's amazing. Thank, Thank you. you Lovely so much. Thank you very much.